Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Admiral Tonka! Choose your hero. As Coddle, you can be not just fragile about getting caught, but just physical damage owns you. So two armor, that's another reason why the Kunkka does like to play versus it. But Gunner, he's starting Ring of Protection. So we've seen the like Vessel build up, of course, constantly on these Keeper Lights. You go like Bots Vessel most games. This could be another one, and starting out with that is kind of cool to block some damage, at least from Tidebringer. Just little things. 
And what, what what's sort of the game plan then for for nouns when you you run with this this cottle? Is it all sort of just getting the pressure on with the cottle and the lichen so that you're you're shoving the lanes out and anti mage always has some some like kind of solid area at the map to free farm? Yeah, exactly. You want to be uh, occupying a lot of space and just putting tons of pressure on with the four heroes and just letting AM do his own thing so he can get that matchup that's amazing for the Morphling and get that advantage. That boom will start with the triple bounty runes. Yep. And let's see how this all goes down, too, because it, it was a first two AM, and overall, yeah, there's Lift, there's Doom, and there's the Kunkka spells, but yeah. there's definitely maybe some ways that this, this AM can play around a lot of these spells. Yeah. The shield I... is really good versus Rubik. It can be good versus Doom and Kunkka. <laughs> yeah, you got to imagine those, well, but boom, coming into this series, if they've been doing their homework, right, they, they would have known, right, if we play Morphling, they're going to do this AM yeah, against us, so we've got to get a plan. We've got to have a plan to play against how they've been playing against Morph. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they probably would just like, we're going to get this Doom and whatever. Like, Pierce probably like, I'll just Doom him and get rid of him and then we'll counter everything else. So, but we'll see how it all goes down. GPK right now mid. Yeah, I, I was, was going to say, with sort of the lane and matchups as they are, is there a lane where it could get pretty messy uh, in, in one way or another? Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like all three of Bat Boom's lanes. I mean, they, this has been a thing with Bat Boom, right? They... Our sort of teams that consistently win all three lanes, Bet Boom's pretty much out there at the top. Their laning is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, because even like a uh, pure and save just do so much. When they're playing with this Doom, they just do so much with Scorched Earth. Like they constantly set up with KOs just by walking heroes down. And uh, look at bottom, they might have just done it. Yep, yeah, He's, he's going to be fine, but uh, you know that's a, a relative term as uh, he's very low on the HP. He's only got a few tangos left upon him. Mostly he's still got a few to, to share out. But where was the? I, th I was actually clicking. I thought the Rubik had a blood grenade. I thought save was that would have been a guaranteed kill if he did. But yeah, not this time around. Usually I feel like I see save happen like every single time. So and either way, they do bully him some a bit away, and he's two, only two last hits at the moment. He's constantly at very low HP, and they're nearly out of regen already. <laughs> They're, they're, they're the masters of this lane, with Doom, honestly. When I watched their Doom pug now, I was like, holy crap. Top lane. Now this, to try for, to go for a cute little play there, where you have to clear out the creep to get level 2 to play uh -oh. aggressive with the cookie, but it does not pay off. Toronto, Tokyo, and Nightfall get first blood as they take him out. At least Moo gets the Tombstone, but yeah, they baited him. I mean, that's, they, they, that's they, the they issue did. sometimes versus these two heroes. You're like, oh, they're low. Just kidding. He decayed me. He shifted. Yeah, I mean, as I say, you know, he he went and he used the scatter blast to nuke the the yeah. range creep, so he could get level two for the cookie play. But of course, with the scatter blast being used for the creep, didn't have it for the heroes. Didn't have the damage to, to finish them off. Yeah, across. I I, I like I said, I, I really like all three of these lanes. I think Bat Boom is going to come out honestly ahead in all three of them. It's going to be difficult for them to slow down Nightfall in particular. The Kunkka should be fine. And yeah, I've seen Pure just he just free farms in most of these these setups. Even if, even if he is worse than the AM. I mean, maybe we'll, we'll see if that does get worse and worse, but... <laughs> Incure? Trying to set up for him, but now they can't. Yeah, let me be able to keep his mana low, but actually finishing off the kill with these two heroes in the lane is pretty difficult. Yeah. And pure nosy. And He's happy to, to play aggressive back with the, the helper's save and start pulling back Husky and Yamsen. Yeah. And when he's out of mana also, he can then he can just trade effect. Yeah, he, 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 he's, he's happy to fight yeah, yeah. with this ring of health. And now they did. They You see how, how important it was for them. Like, they push for them. They're, they're probably telling each other, guys, just hit them and go for this healing lotus, because now they do have it for pure if you want to spells. See already, yeah. All three of yeah, Bat Boom's yeah. cores. I would imagine this would happen. In the lead. And they're, like, Yamson, he's, he's still half HP. Tangos, they're, they're having to bring more and more on Husky, but he's not able to walk up to the creep wave. This is a triple range creep that he's getting sold off of. Yeah, this is a scary lane. They glyph the wave to dive as well. They do this all the time. He's bullying back the two of them. Yamsen's trying to trade with save. That's uh, not working out for him. The, the triple ring, it's still going. Yamsen has to get over there, but he can't. He can't actually farm. He has to go to base. He's going to miss everything. Oh, this is... Wait, this is, well, this is just going to go into the tier 2. Now, he's, he's going to be able to get back in time, I think. It's all going to just die to the tier 2. Yeah, he'll get over with a blink or such. He'll be in range. Right, Husky has to hold the creep wave. But that, gonna, then they miss the other wave. They miss the, the next full other wave. Oh, this tier is one. brutal. Oh my God, Yemson's getting destroyed. This is a tough, tough start for the anti mage. He's dragging the wave, but Husky is doing a good job of at least holding it for this AM. But that's one wave gone to tier one tower. Second wave almost certainly. Go is, is, is that going to fall? He's going to miss. A, he's going to miss another wave probably. And the creeps will hold it out of tower range at least. So a, a bit of time. Well, maybe they can finish off these creeps and get over there. Oh my God. Yeah, hey, this is. 
And he hasn't died, but it almost feels like worse than dying because <laughs> of the way that this all gone down. Husky's gonna at least run over and get the XP from these creeps that are dying, but what a start here. Bat Boom, it's four minutes in, a 2k lead, all three free farming, and the Kunkka is... He's putting pressure, like, he's he's kind of like diving Gunner behind the tower, and the Rubik is actually rotating Gunner. Trouble. He's gonna keep to the safe Ooh. side, but uh, yeah, still, those, those Tidebringer hits keeping Gunner low. He's just down to the last tango. Who will be able to find Toronto Tokyo? Okay. I also get the Tombstone. Nightfall. We'll try and get Lettuce in return, but the waveform's not quite there. So for all the tough things that are going on for now, it's down on the bottom lane. Look at something happen here up top. Glimpse, one mana. Just gets it, but at this point now, can't actually go for the setup. Good kill. It's, it's only out to the five position, though. So. But they get that, and they, they did get the Tombstone. Oh, true, they did so get the Tombstone. Decent gold for Moo. That's good, that's a good point. Okay, nighttime has been hit. Be ready for the lag to happen every time he clicks Howl. But Mu also getting some decent farm. He's gotten, like you said, the Tombstone a couple times. He is actually pretty much neck and neck, even with the Kunkka. He's actually at the top two net worth right now. As this uh, Lycan right now. And he's actually just taking the healing bonuses under two heroes, so... He's able to claim both of them for himself up here. That's nice. Yeah, I guess with the sort of the Helm of Iron Will, he's, he's not really a, an appealing target to go aggressive on with the regen that he has. And yeah, maybe Lelis, you just like, man, now you just move around. You stack camps and move. Bottom will die. I mean, they're bringing him back up. I don't, yeah, Lelis, I think this is what you should do. This is perfect. Like, move away from top. Can they get a kill with it? The cookie set up. Yeah. Still got mana to play with. He's safe. Radiance so, Jamson here will back away from this attempt. Yeah. Jamson's like, I don't want any heroes, I need these creeps. <laughs> he does indeed need to yeah, focus on those the creep waves coming in under that tier one tower. TP, coming in. I mean, Pure, he, he was kind of waiting for this. He's oh, like, you want, you want to TP in? Oh, baby. We'll fight. Tombstone. There's Husky, he's gone. The zombies chasing down Lelis. Make a look for another one here, Pure. I mean, they were more than ready for that one. Nouns just TP straight into it there. Oh, and look at Yam Yamson's trying to steal the Wisdom Rune, but he's actually, he might die. No. Oh, no, save is actually too low. Never mind. Okay. Save is actually getting zoned away from it. But does mean no Wisdom Rune it. to be grabbed for Yamson. Oh, my, look at y Yamson. This looks, I'm so sad for this anti mage. It's level four. He's going to at least be able to purchase his Cornucopia, it looks like here, when he's swinging around. But he's zoned off of everything. Morphling is pretty much free farming. Punka, too. A tough start for Nouns to recover. Yeah, I mean, how's the levels looking on Pure? Yeah, people, well, Pure's level 6, so this is this, this, this dangerous lane to come back to as an anti-mage. Yeah, and he's got, honestly, probably the dream creep here in the lane. He's got the mana aura, so he's got the constant regen, he can burn, so he could just like, skill the Doom, and he's constantly ready to go for these plays. Vanguard's ready. Yeah, he's just gonna sit here. Be I mean, what an early game, really. Perfect. Pretty much flawless from the side of Bat Boom these 8 minutes. Okay, well, maybe not flawless. They gave up two tombstones and a kill, but yeah. Pretty pretty damn good. Rune. I mean, at least from the cause, right? No yeah. cause to die on Bat Boom. Okay. Let me get the setup onto him. What the darn? And the boat coming in onto Husky. Husky. Did he get healed up? Get the jump forward with a cookie. GPK. They got a glimpse. What? Oh. See if they can actually get him though. GPK, he just pers <laughs> kills Husky. And now there's a tombstone. I mean, Torrent's back up as well. I mean, Lennis will be able to take yeah. out the tombstone. GPK <laughs> sitting pretty low. How is he still alive? But they, they can't quite finish him. Alrighty. So, uh, sure, he's not able to reset, get his mana and health back, but uh, he gets dragged back into the action. And off the back of that, he gets another kill. Tokyo being chased. Has a stick and a decay. I mean, Moo's doing his best, honestly. This he is some is. good stuff from the like. And Moo already picking up a couple of kills, getting pressure on across the map with that movement over towards the mid lane. Trying uh, trying his best with the offlaners to sort of hold back some of these early plays that Bet Boom's getting away with. He's going to have to be the one to kind of bring things back together because his Coddle's suffering. His Coddle's into a counter pick matchup as well, too. So, yeah. the pressure on him. Doom does come out onto bottom. A glimpse will protect him, so. Should be able to survive this uh, oh. Doom. Safe. See, uh, continue to try and chase, but deep background mid move. His army of summons claims Gunner. another. He stepped up too far. Yeah, he's gonna get left here. There's no save in the call. Gunner's gone. Not worth it. Moo. Oh. He'll also get chased out there. Nightfall is running him out the triangle. That is biggest kill he could have got. A solo kill, a full level pretty much, and that huge bounty. 
I mean, Lelis is maybe seeing if he can get a snipe on Nightfall. But, uh, yeah. Don't think Nightfall's going to let it happen. No, already shifting up on strength. It, 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 you're not going to catch this man by surprise on his morph. Nightfall will never let you get a cast like that. This guy's way too good at it. 4k lead. That boom. Three cores. They're all at the top. Spot. And they, yeah, as they do, as we've seen them when they do this before, they just all very even on farm. Yeah. All and three of their cores. They always make their, you, know, it's, 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 you can tell it's probably a competition between them. You know? <laughs> I true. want my lane harder. No, I want my lane harder. You know, they're, 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 these guys, they really go for it. Yeah, and in this game too, it's like, yes, you have the AM versus Morphling matchup, but this is a game where the Morphling, absolutely, he's going to go, like, he can go the Aghanim's build, and then turning into AM, turning into Lycan, these heroes are incredible for you to steal the stats away. And he's going to have good timings. He's 1,700 ahead of the AM. And sp space needed to be made here now. We need to get this AM back in the game. But where does he go? Because hitting neutrals at this moment isn't easy without treads. He just no, got he's too slow. Cornucopia. And playing in any lane is difficult for him at this moment. So recovery outlet for him, yeah, not the easiest. Let's see what now he can do to be able to apply some pressure to get him that space. Yeah, move. Austrian aggressively top, but GPK is here, GPK ready to de here. defend this tower. Looks like Nouns are going to be careful. And GPK he has his full blade mail now. So he is, he is definitely very scary. The amount that he's being to be able to reflect is huge. Yeah, nobody wants to go on him in the fight. Who is in? They want to die. Look what they can get. They get the setup up to Toronto Tokyo. Tombstone right away. Oh, with the cookie. Should be a dead undying. Doesn't get anything more though. GPK is trying to set up. We'll get glimpsed back. Not able to connect with the X Mark Torrent onto Lelis. Get the follow up onto Husky Dug. GPK finishes him off. Nice glimpse there from Nightfall. He's looking for more. He's got another glimpse in eight seconds. If he can find this snapfire up top. Ooh, GPK. Oh, okay. Just, just get the hex, uh, sorry, the, the X set up onto to move, but uh, nothing, nothing further than that. Keep trying. 5K lead. Continue to get more and more. I mean, they keep getting Tokyo and Tombstones, but it's a five position, so. And they didn't actually, well, they weren't able to persist to push forward for the tower either. Bet boom, they brought the numbers. Pure's just going to start printing gold now with the Midas. Yeah, he's the space that he's had. There's this kind of full area on the bottom half of the map. Going completely untouched so far. 2-0-1. Oh. Look at the, I mean, look at Yamsen still. 4K net worth. This is one of the poorer anti-mages I feel like you've, you, you get to see. He's what, like 330 GPM or something like that right now? Look how slow he kills these neutrals. It's brutal. And Moon now, he's been found. Three of them. They shouldn't struggle to... Oh, okay, okay, now they've, they've, they've got telekinesis, they're fine. I mean, and they knew it as well, GPK not even bothering to drop the boat on him, uh, feeling uh, confident that they would have him without, and they certainly did. Yeah, I mean, he's got, it's, it's like it, right? No boots or anything like that ever, so, yeah, if you don't have ult, you're just, you're dead if you get caught. Or yeah, that boom, again, it, it, they're hitting on all cylinders, top tower gets taken out, Nightbolt, no pressure whatsoever. They know exactly where to hunt, they know this AM has no game, and they know that Gunner, if Gunner shows up, he's dead. Almost in every situation, he's so Radiant's fragile on this on this goddle. One k HP, literally caught from any disable, he's dead. Fail now being picked up. They're trying to find any type of small elements they can to fix this early game. But it, it's a brutal early start. It's seven, seven thousand gold lead, thirteen That's minutes in. That's such a massive lead. Yeah, and they have really strong team fight. It's not just some like. It's not like they just drafted lanes that are strong or anything like that for Bet Boom. It's strong lanes, strong team fight, and strong counter matchups. Mounds just pretty much hoping that they get given the time for Yamsen to hit creeps without interruption. <laughs> and is that time really going to be enough? Is he going to be able to just, let's say, like solo carry versus a morph and a doom? Definitely be difficult. No, I mean it's yeah. As you say, it's, it's, it's a morph that's you've got a pretty decent head start farm against you, and the the other two cores, you know, they're they're not ones that really at any point are you jumping on as an anti mage and deleting out of a fight. These no. these guys are beefy. The, the Kunker and the Doom, they don't go down easily. No, you 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 want to go and try to like snipe maybe these supports and stuff like that, but yeah. They're also beefy, and they have saves yep. eventually. Like, well, of course, we'll see the grab ally. We'll see the the rom as well too, of course, and just whatever else save is able to do for himself. Difficult recovery, really, for Nouns. So let's see what they're gonna do. They're moving Husky. The two supports. They're kind of the two that I feel like have to make these early moves to bring things back for themselves. Because I'm just scared for Gunner, really.
Because if he shows up, he just dies. So I want to see these two supports making as many moves as possible. Gunner getting some cleanup. Radiant are scanning. That boom at the ready here. And now Dyer's they're so prepared for this move. Unlikely to to be able to find something. They're baiting pure. I mean, even if they catch him, they got the damage. Right, they're, 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 they're ready. They got the X. Immediately. Broken instantly. Static Storm and Kisses put to waste that. They read them like a book on the side of that book. That's the Coddle, too. The Coddle TP down to get into the ult and get the best charge. Yeah, you're right. It's quite a lot committed there. They get literally nothing. That boom. Thing about their draft too is they could they can even threaten Roshan super early. They have Undying. Right now they're gonna look for the fight because they have good vision around here. Yeah, and they know that Nouns are short of a few ultimates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, they're gonna go for move. They've got him. Caught in the full common move. We'll be able to get the ult off. Okay, bit Just awkward. managed to, to get away before the boat connects. And look towards save. Save. He's, in. He's up on the cliff. All right. There's not much more move can do now. He's gonna have to try and TP out of this one, and he will get out. Oh, he gets but he gets X. They're gonna yeah, be able to exit man. back on the cliff! <laughs> I mean, do they even want to kill him? Just leave him there! Oh, he's worth a good amount. The dude comes out on Lalas too. Cookie. Oh, all right, he gets Cookie down. Five but uh, just at the same time, this ult comes to an end. So move will go down. But boom, continuing to find the favorable fights. Favorable fights, Octarine is finished as he uses the Midas. Yeah. Chef's kiss. For and pure. Nightfall's just free farming. He's sure got his is. Manta done. He knows not. He's, he knows he doesn't need to go to his team. He's like, guys, AM won't, won't join. I'm gonna free farm then. You guys can win that fight. Another glimpse. Another X. Ah, uh, yeah. This Kunkka pick it just feels like it hits on all cylinders. There's so many things that's good versus this game. Yeah, difficult here to sort of strategically find the moments, the the games in which you, you want to be picking it as a, as a last pick hero in the mid. But, uh, yeah, this this game, GPK definitely showing that this this game, this draft, it was one of the ones to do it in. Oh yeah. And yeah, 9k lead quickly goes even more into their favor. So he has to be careful if he shows in lanes. This anti-mage is incredibly fragile. Uh, just the, the, the brown boots and the, the battle fury on him. He has got his treads done now, okay. but uh, yeah, treads battle fury here 17 minutes in. Not uh, not the kind of timings you, you hope to see as the anti-mage. No, definitely not. And we'll see it again here, that uh, last little replay. Uh, just as he <laughs> thought he made it off the cliff. He gets dragged straight back then by GPK. And in his last moments of freedom, he returns to being a lawful man as his ult ends. GPK is, I know, through core is massive. BKB mm -hmm. blade mail done, level 12. Actually, level 13. Sorry, just finished off an ancient stack. Great vision, honestly. I've been very impressed with Toronto Tokyo recently. I think he's really getting the stride of this five position these last few months so much. And I got to, I got to like watch one of the, like, uh, I think it was like a little mini interview of him, just talking about the region and just being like, I needed to make the move to, uh, to five position because we needed another Mipposhida. And I, I'm definitely feeling how much he's grown as this five position. Excellent work this game, great rotations. Yeah, I mean, what, what is it that, that for you when you're watching does, uh, outside of kind of the wars and rotation sets a kind of a good five ahead of the others? Just knowing when to sacrifice yourself. I think snaking is probably one of the best, one of the better examples on Tundra that does it so much. He's got like 10 deaths on the game. Playing some quick kill here as they find Lelis. Anywhere they go, they can, they can claim kills here, Bat Boom. Yeah, they've got that sort of lead right now. It's a dangerous map for Nouns to walk around. I'm, I'm curious. I, I mean, it's also the other thing that the five position also does besides the wards. It's, it's the setting up the wards, but what that does is it sets you up like who's making the calls. So I wonder, I, I'm wondering who talks the most on this team, actually. Because I know Nightfall, if you, I mean, if you ever, ch I mean, he's Tron super chatty. Tron Tokers, I mean, I feel like they're... They're all pretty chatty. Maybe, I guess sort of Save sort of got the, you might Save maybe a bit one of the quieter ones. He's quiet. He's more, I mean, Sa I think Save and Pure, from what I've experienced ever playing with them, they've been pretty quiet. The okay. rest of the three, the super yeah. They claimed me a few times. I deserved <laughs> it, though. It's okay. Yeah, get good. I shouldn't be playing in some of <laughs> Wrap around, Husky, Gunner. They're bringing the numbers on Nouns. Still not going to be a scenario that Yamsa wants to be involved in. Husky is going to get found. He's able to drop the Static Storm. Okay. And he's going to get healed up. He's going to live. They've killed Toronto Tokyo. They found Gunner. The GPK's got his BKP ready to go. They'll drop the Doom down onto Gunner. And Pure will die, though. Okay. And GPK's not actually got the straight up damage to finish with the kills. He's got backup coming in now for Nightfall as Nightfall turns. 
into Lelis, into the snap fire. Cookie and a scatter blast bringing Lelis down low. Save will finish him off with a stolen scatter blast. Jansen still thinking about stepping up into this. He has hit level 12. He's got a level 2 mana for him. Okay. If he's able to prime someone for, for a big burst of damage, there it is, but not quite enough. Metapoint stolen. And indeed, that will turn it. on to get Gunner and cause the, the death of the Cottle. So a bit of an unfortunate move there, really. They, you know, they tried their best, Jamsen. He really wanted to see if he could threaten a kill with that level 2 mana void, but only ends up putting his own teammate's life at risk there with it getting stolen. Oh, it was actually looking pretty damn good for them. The Garner lives the Doom. He's able to reset with hey, the Is that Jamsen's got a hatred? Okay. So he, he can stay on trying to take it for a little bit. I don't I get, think you kill him. TPs are coming in. He might, he'll kill you. He'll turn to yep, kill you. That's honestly. true. He was getting a lot of strength stacked up. Yeah. Oh, what a play from save. I love what, I mean, he's my favorite four position lately. Him and Tofu, for quite some time now, they've been popping off with just, I mean, him in particular with Fun Heroes. He's playing Pudge and stuff, of course, from Berlin, but what a play. Yeah, he's quick on that mana void still. Super fast on it. Not a lot that uh, Yamsen could do do about that after he decided to, to, to drop it in an attempt to take down Nightfall. And now Rush, they can go. Tombstone's up. He's got the end of the Flesh Golem that he used in mid also, too, for the amp. Yeah, Rush gonna be secured for them. Yeah. A decent connection for announce overall with the, yeah, they started. With the way the game is kind of like the place that it is right now. Yeah, but... I mean, honestly, with the way that the sort of Husky was surrounded but still managed to, to kind of drop the, the spells down. Yeah. Um, was, uh, yeah, definitely a, some, some sort of a start for the Nouns in that team fight. It was decent with the, with the you know, how far behind they really are in this game. Nightfall now, though. This is where it's gonna start getting scarier and scarier. It's like that last fight, that's the way, that's the point where the AM, maybe if he gets killed, huge. Top. No. He lived. Top tower is under just, just, just TP. What was that, like 50 HP? Oh. Did he even change the Vambrace? I don't think he made it strength Vambrace. No, I think you're right. I think he did when he maybe flicks it around in the, I didn't the, the fountain, but I didn't he, he, just, he just TP and they, they, they couldn't stop it. The man lives. But yeah, um, Nightfall, he's got Aghanim's done, and he's hit 15, so he gets the talent as he gets the item, and that's going to make it now for the Anti-Mage. Quite a bit more difficult to get involved in. He's already so poor, his damage is pretty pathetic, it's going to be way more so. I think he's used it. GPK's beyond the tower here, getting catches, he's caught Lelis. Best play. Yeah, even turning into Lycan is nice. Universal hero, right? Just get the bonus of stats. Taking out that replay again, TPing out, nothing to stop it. How low does he end up going? Seven. One! One? There was a one there. There was a one? There was absolutely a one there. Oh my. He, yeah, he didn't even swap the Vambrace. He, he kept it on in. Was, he he could have actually <laughs> survived even better if he swapped it. <laughs> there was, yeah, there was a, definitely a, a one HP in there. Holy crap. And that's ult expended. Right? They pronounce and they can't actually get the kill as Nightfall takes out the bottom tower. They're unlikely to be able to get that close to killing pure again. As the, the BKB is coming out very shortly. These BKBs are going to be, it feels like the nail in the coffin almost. As soon as he's got it done, it feels like he's immortal. We see GPK, he is immortal with the BKB in these last few fights. And they're hunting. Look at this move. They, it seems like they almost know exactly where now he's playing most of this game. Completely wrapping around on them here. Oh, and he's going to find the prime target. He's got BKB. He's going to have to use it. Yeah, no messing around if we're going to BKB TP. Does not want to, to get left behind here. Husky, however, will do so. Get uh, trapped it by the chase of Pet Boom. But at least for Gunner, he lives. He lives. But BKB cooldown, they can go again. You have 70 seconds to punish that as well as the ultimate. And Nightfall actually in a prime position to go for Yamsun here. He's got the blink chase. He's ready to chase. He should be able to get him here. Close. They get him dragged back here, safe. It gets him with the glimpse. That pretty much the maximum range there. Tip him with again. The lens. He, he deserves these tips. My God, save. That was sick. And the Agonim's timing, as we saw there. Able to utilize that excellent versus the AM. 11k lead. It's been a rough one for now. It has been. There was always a question of whether they would uh, come in with some sort of upset or if uh, things were going to go maybe as uh, people would expect it. And uh, unfortunately for now, that does seem to be the case so far in this game. One pet boom. Just uh, proving to be quite the step ahead of them. I love, I mean, they're drafted across the board, right? They won all three lanes. I think they played mid amazing. I think they played top amazing. And I think they played bottom even more amazing somehow than the other two. Like pushing this AM so far back. Making him literally what? Get 
less like what 300 GPM or something like that for the most part of this game. It's just Another tier two drops. The map is shrinking quickly for nouns. Oh, they're just up to the high ground now. GPK standing the poke at bottom. Yeah, he's beating on it. What are you gonna do here, now? You have got your ultimate. Oh, he glimpsed him away. See you later, Coddle. Oh, he's gonna have to take the walk back to that bottom lane, Gunner. Oh, brutal. They got glyph. But a pullback. We grab Husky. Slim as that. Stone in position on the high ground. I thought he's just gonna jump back in on a Husky. Husky drops the static storm, Wait, but that was the kill, and indeed the glimpse is only gonna benefit Nightfall. Gets him out of the static storm. <laughs> Of course, did have the Aegis, but he's still able to protect this first time around. Gunner steps up, but Pure's able to catch him with the Doom. He's glimpsed. The glimpse is there, drags him back, the Glimmer's out, so they will manage to save Gunner, get him back to the base, but they've had to buy back for that buyback from the Husky. Mana Boy brings them low, but it isn't enough to kill them straight up. They do pop the Aegis, okay, oh. at least of Nightfall, but he's going to be back for round two. Toronto Tokyo's dead. Nightfall, he'll back off for now. Maybe he stick around. I mean, they get the pull back here with the tidal wave. In fact, he jumps in aggressively. He's looking towards Gunner. Gunner, though, he's somehow able to survive all this. I mean, I mean yeah, the Glimmer's team bailed him work. out. Yeah, Husky, I think, was the, was the one dropping that yeah. dropping that Glimmer to keep him safe. And it, it is going to it is gonna end up pushing Bethlehem away. Some really nice glimpses coming out from save, but somehow, now it's surviving here. I mean, the buyback, of course, there from Husky being absolutely clutch there for him hold on. But it is just holding on as they're going back in. Oh, they stepped out of the base. The Nightfall was waiting for him. Gunner, BKP, and the Glimmer's thrown down his way. He'll live. He's going to kill Nightfall. Is able to get out. Just two heroes. Bepboom jumps in versus four or five that are alive with two heroes. That's how confident they are. And they are able to get away with both. Continuous pressure, but at the least for nouns. They the, the, the push the back. Yeah. The, the, the base, small. it still stands. Yeah. It's a small thing, but it, yeah. at least it's something. Next item's being picked up, a big one here for the Kanka. AC is finished up for GPK. A flawless game so far from him, 5-0 and 6. Like I said, probably like the best Kanka game, I think. The Kanka set up the situation that he was put in with the heroes that he's up against that you'll probably see. Oh, right there. We'll get dropped. Oh, and they get, the, they get the good one, of course. I mean, actually, they would have gotten probably any of the good ones, because they would have gotten Rubik, Undying, or Morphling. So, all of the good ones. Multiple saves now versus Static Storm and whatnot. Nouns kind of stuck playing all together. Can they farm with the smoke? I mean, they can't kill any of the cores if they have BKB. The camera, BKB saves anyone in this yeah. spot. Yeah. At this point, there's and it, it's not the damage oh. to go through that. And even if you find maybe like an Undying, he's gonna Tombstone jump inside of it. Maybe buy time for his team to show up as well too. Not easy for Nouns to get any setup here. They're gonna try and uh, play around with Pure. He's just holding the BKB, he knows. I mean, they, they, they can't even force the BKB out of him. And he's just waiting at Duke Devour targets. Ancients, of course, picked up a couple levels ago. Sorry, I didn't get to point that one out. But versus the Lycan, I think he's been doing that a couple times, eating the creep. They have so many, yeah, so many catch plays. Like even the, even versus disruptor, the the tombstone, right? <laughs> you can just eat people when they're getting glimpsed and stuff too. So many counters, it feels like the has got. Radiance bottom barracks are under attack. I didn't see why that was, do why he could have. I missed something. I don't know actually. Yeah, no supposed to find out. Random glimpse or something. Huh? Keep on the prowl. Got it. Oh. They have indeed. Doom's gonna get dropped down. Not a chance for a move. And now up on the high ground, they've got eyes on Husky. Off the Glimmer Cape. They're ready with protection. He's out and they've moved into position to look towards Roshan. Not up yet. 30 but seconds until we'll see when that's back in. I feel like Bepboom is playing as like three, four heroes and Nightfall's doing whatever the hell he wants this game. He's, he's literally on the he's chilling. side of the map just far free farming. No fear whatsoever. Yeah, it really is the dream for this Morphling with how much his team's been able to do for him. He just, yeah. Seems very easy for him to play the map. Now, what's surprising, really, that he's actually still been involved in more kills than Pure. All right. Pure's uh, here, he's chilling down at 4 1 and 2. He's in 6 of the 19. You said, you said it's a competition, though, right? They're competing between kills and net worth, and look at how close it is. There. It's close to the net worth. <laughs> and, you know, fair play to Nightfall. He's doing this against them Doom with the Midas. He is. You know, he so uh, he's keeping up. Yeah, I'm Sunday. 
I mean, it, it's like it's just it's 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 tough to look for a where now it's what the next item and what the next situation is where it's gonna be okay they've got a way to actually take this fight it kind of is in a position where they have to catch them almost off guard a little bit especially this morphing and get this kind of big mana void burn his mana before he gets vkp off and get that mana void for yam son besides that it's so super difficult and that's asking that's asking a lot to get any type of setup like that yeah and he's kind of lincoln's and then the basher yeah, and even then, it's like focus firing here is as difficult because there's saves. There's gonna be the tombstone that comes out. There's gonna be Rom and protection. So, Bedroom feels very confident in this one. GPK trying to high five his friend Nightfall, but Nightfall just says no, get away from here. And he's got creeps to him. Yeah, he, he actually ignored him. Yeah. He's got the Roche, 30 seconds. We'll be respawning. Gunner does have his E Blade. I mean, his itemization, it's. it's you know, the normal coddle kind of thing, it's just, what's it really going to do in this game? E-Blade versus Morph, it's one of the best items, of course, because it's based off of your primary attribute and all that, but there's the BKB, so they're always going to be protected for it, for it, versus it. Unless he can catch him in a chain stun or burn his mana or something like that before he's able to use But who's starting the chain stun? It's, it's, it's just not really there, yeah. yeah. It's not easy. Perhaps a last hurrah. I mean, they have. It feels like if they get, if they give Roche, it's it's going to be impossible for them to kill them, kill them twice. So they're going to make the they're going to make the call to make this risky move out. They actually cookied on the creep wave, so they're going to know this is coming. Boom. They're in position with a full refresher. Even if they catch in the static storm, the kisses will there be the damage? It's just BKBs. And the Roche, it's dead. Already gone. Ages into the hands of Nightfall, and now they they they. They're happy to take a fight, Bet Boom. If Nouns are going to bring it to them, Bet Boom will happily fight back. Got glimpse again. And they've caught Husky. The dragon back. Disruptor's gone. And now with the Aegis, they can look to push up to the base once more, Bet Boom. Yeah. Butterfly done on Nightfall as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pure has creeps to farm, though. Cre <laughs> Pure saw like a triple creep wave top. He's got his Midas to devour up. He's got to stay ahead of Nightfall, so he'll be back at the bottom later on. I mean, it does look like they kind of put him back from uh, that push. Yamsen. Yamsen, be careful. Able to blink away in time, the but the glimpse is still there. Hello. He's out. Oh, save you, monster. Oh, well, I've seen so many, so many glimpse plays for the save. He's the better disruptor this yes, game. We're, we're definitely getting more from him. Oh. We'll get one kill, but we'll be able to get away. Another glimpse. Another glimpse. Of the, how long has he got left on his old move? It doesn't matter. Glimpse into the telekinesis. Save. He's just handling them. He is a beast. 3, 2, and 14. Oh, goodness, yeah, yeah. Another glimpse. An another. Oh. <laughs> Make him take a step. Stop casting glimpse. Can they can they finish this kill, though? He's got telekinesis in a second, but uh, this time, the uh, the original glimpse. No, he's got, he's got another one. He's got another glimpse, though. He's going to oh. go for Husky. <laughs> he sees him. He's gonna, he knows he's up here. Glimpse he's got him. <laughs> okay, he'll lose the glimpse. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's Thunderstrike instead. Uh, they, they will get the kill though. Husky, no way to run. Godlike for Nightfall. My god. I feel like after this game, you know, Husky's never going to want to play Disruptor into Rubik again. No, and that was the first pick, right? An instant reaction that came out. Well, third pick, of course, from Bepboom going for it. And now we're absolutely seeing why he wanted to play. I mean, what a beast save. From lane to game, amazing stuff. All Bepboom, really. Quite a display. And yeah, play, I mean, playing it careful, too. Like, it's not. They could probably push. So, yeah, they're chilling. But they're chilling. They're going to get, it looks like an Aghanim's pretty much done on pure also, and a full nullifier now for GPK. Flawless game for him, as we said from earlier. Good luck with these glimmers and stuff now. Good luck protecting yourselves. I guess the, the thing is they they do know that the high ground potential is there right for now. You know, now it's going to continue to just blast out the yeah. waves with the Illuminate. And, and they do have the, the combo, the status on the kiss, kisses, which of course still is not that scary when these BKBs come into consideration. I think now they'll get the push. They just got those next item timings. They all just got delivered. So now the push is going to come in. Scoop comes down to give Vision in there for the protection. And they can't walk up and hit this tomb. Actually drop it. Look at the bottom set, gone. Nouns, nothing to be done about this. They're just trying to use the space for Yamsen to, to get his next item done, try and get at least the basher off the Lincoln Sphere. <laughs> They're glimpsing him just to slow him down from hitting towers. But slowing out, slowing down is really all it is. A steel comes out, 
Oh, he doesn't get the glimpse. Yeah, he's gonna, he, I think he's, he's making sure to cover it now, Husky. Every time that glimpse is coming out, he's throwing the Thunderstrike down straight after as well. I mean, he's got the shard, so he can just click Thunderstrike literally anywhere. Yeah. Let me also connect. Cast the glimpse, he did. Okay. More than okay. Not really much they can do after they glimpse him back. And I like how Pure is literally just farming the whole thing. <laughs> he's literally just farming top plus he's pushing, then he's gonna join. E Blade connection, nightfall. Pops a little low, but he's got Satanic to heal right back up the full. He goes back in and starts to do exactly that. Heal it up, so we're up as well. Nightfall, good to go here to start the push again. And Pure is waiting in the wings with his pre fresh Aghanim's refresher. We can just connect onto the two of them, but Pure, there he goes, charging forward, closes the gap onto Mu. Mu cannot get away from him. Yep, so. Out for 50, Yams is trying to fight, tries to jump in to find someone, something, but he cannot even get saved. He's out of the game. Bet Boom, they're not going anywhere, though, if they can keep this push on. There's Nightfall. In fact, he's looking for kills. He's on the tier fours. He's looking for Gunner. He's able to kill him through the BKB. Yeah, Gunner's back, dead. Sorry. And both him and Yamsum buying back. But they can't do anything. Can they get pure? He dooms. <laughs> he's got another one. And round two. Won't get any kills with this though, pure. Does get glimpsed back, but what they're about to get him out with the combo. Now save again. Get him so away, but before the connected field sets up. Cannot even kill him there as low as he did fall. And they him. He's gonna come right back up. They're still gonna stick around here. I mean, there's such quick reaction. The four stuff gets him out. Nice, just go, go, go from that boom. Yep. Save has man avoid at the ready also too if he sees an opportunity again. 37. <laughs> I mean, this game has just not even been close. <laughs> it's just that boom putting on a display. Yeah, they have a full set of racks down bottom, the melee racks in the mid. Yep. And they to just bring around his top planes. There is still a tier two standing to, to be cleared out. Oh, a DD top as well. Okay, sure, why not? What? It saves attacking it. Kill it. Get it saved. <laughs> What's he got? What's he got? They're pinging it. They're waiting. Maybe they're buying it. Where's, where's their bottle? Check is their bottle. Uh, nah, saves is going to take it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll grab it. Yeah, he's a, yeah, nobody, no, nobody wanted a bottle to walk over there. Nice one. <laughs> Saves ready for the big play. We gotta see if he gets good mana void. We gotta see if he gets good double damage hits too. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> he, he's ready to be the real anti mage. Mana, I mean, the mana void is definitely scary. Look at this Coddle's mana pool. <laughs> it's 1793. He does end up burning a little bit. You usually don't really burn much mana though. On, no, on you're usually yeah, pretty healthy. You stay, stay pretty high, right? Either way. Through a continuous long fight if he finds something. They might, might just steal. He might just steal another spell. Push is commencing. Going toward top. Courier. Was, uh, was part of the AC. Didn't have the gold regardless to use the AC. Still about 700 short for rest of the Okay, this is a bit. They get the drop on the knife, but he's, he's fine. He's perfectly fine. The doom's out. They catch Yamsen. He's gone for 100 seconds. Is this probably the beginning of the end if that hadn't already begun already? They got him pretty low. I think he could have hopped in. He'll live anyway. Another cleanup happens. And... Well, Bet Boom looking as good as ever. Oh, yeah. GG's called there by Nouns. Bet Boom will take this game one. And uh, dare I say, I don't think Nouns will be looking forward to game two because Bet Boom rather terrifying. Yeah, I, from, I did draft.